There is new hope for a Metro family. After more than 20 years, they could get answers in the disappearance of Laura Mason. The missing link would be that we don't have a body. When it's time for the truth to be known, <clears throat> nobody can stop it from happening. Now, that is one of Laura Mason's relatives in 2003 on the 10th anniversary of Mason's disappearance. Well, now the cold case is getting new life thanks to a new tip sending police just 12 miles away from where she was last seen. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live near 98th and Hardesty with what police are doing right now. Andres. Yeah, Cynthia, first let me go ahead and get out of the way and show you what is happening right here. The con that truck that you see there is halfway filled with concrete and dirt. For the last few hours, heavy machinery has been going back and forth from that house's backyard. Detectives are in that backyard where they believe that Laura Mason may be buried. We're now in the second day of this search. We have seen two cadaver dogs here on the scene, and we've heard them barking a few times. Crime scene technicians are using buckets and shovels to do a thorough search of this backyard. Mason vanished in March of 1993 after a night out with a man in the Jazz District. Police have said that the man she got in the car with has changed his story about where he dropped Mason off that night. Shortly after she did disappear, the ad hoc group against crime did a number of vigils and handed out flyers. Founder Alvin Brooks clearly remembers the case. I cannot imagine how the family feels not, not knowing what happened to their mother, their sister, and, and their loved one. But uh, it's, it's sad memories. Sad memories. I'm just hopeful, though, that something will, will come from what's going on now in terms of the police investigation. And now we are learning that Mason's family will be giving a statement in less than an hour at noon at that ad hoc office. My colleague Brian Abel is on his way there. He'll have an update later this uh, this afternoon. And the operation here is pretty extensive. We're also monitoring it, and we'll have updates online and on the air as well. Reporting live this morning in South Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.